Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss about the combo chart in Looker Studio. We are going to create this beautiful combo chart from scratch. So the first thing that you should ask that what exactly is a combo chart? And when we use this combo chart in our dashboard? So if that is the first question that comes to your mind, so stay tuned in this video and we'll talk about all the ifs and buts related to this combo chart. So let's start with the basics. Combo chart is the short form of combination chart and it can be a combination of either two column charts or two line graph. We can make a combo chart with a single data set or with two data sets that share a common string field. As you can see in the chart over here, the value of each bar and the trend of the line can be symbolized as a count of feature in each category on the x-axis or as a number or the rate or ratio field. If a field is used, the value can be calculated as some minimum, maximum, average, percentile or even median of the values from the field of each categories. So this combo chart can answer questions about your data such as what are the trends for the same category. So whenever you want to understand or analyze the trend of a particular category then you can use this combo chart and one of the major question that might come to your mind is what is the use of this combo chart so the combo charts let you display different type of data in different ways on the same chart as you can see over here we have a bar graph and a trend line right and we can compare it so we have phone landline versus mobile phones right over here and we can compare these two values you may display the column line areas and steps all on the same combination chart and use them to visually highlight the difference as you can see over here from this chart for Japan you can see the difference between the landline and mobile using a single chart right so the combination charts are a good choice if you want to make a chart with a study that shows data in different way than a line chart or a simple bar graph chart so let's go and create this combo chart in our looker page or report from scratch so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click on this edit button first and then i'm going to add a new page so that i can show you how to create this chart from scratch but before we go ahead, let's go to our raw data that we will be using for this example. So we'll be using this sample data in which we have a list of countries. Then we have the other features such as how many internet hosts are there, internet user, mobile phone and line line phones are getting used for that specific country. And the simplest example that we will be building on our looker is that for each country how many mobile users are there and how many landline users are there and then we are going to compare it whether for a specific country the landline user is higher or the mobile phone user is higher so let's go to our looker and add a page once we have added a page let me copy this header from here now in order to add a combo chart what you can do is that you can go and click on this add a chart button in your toolbar or in your navigation bar and then under this line section you have this first option of combo chart if you click on it so you will see that your combo chart is ready all you need to do is that you need to select the dimension and the matrices for your combo chart so the first thing within this setup for this combo chart is a data source so this is the data source from which the chart will read the data for us we have gds18 data which i have shown you over here and if you want to see that how you can add a or change a data source you can click over here and then you can select your data sources which is available over here or if you want to add a data source then you can click add data and then from multiple connectors you can add your or connect your data on looker 
So the next option that we have is date range dimension. Now if your data source has any column that has dates then by default looker will select that date column as a date range dimension and if you want to change it change that column to a other date range column you can click over here and select the field but if your data source doesn't have any columns or field which has correct date format then looker will not select it and you won't get an option to add that date range dimension over here the next option that we have within this setup is dimension so this dimension is the categorical variable for which you want to show the different matrices so if you want to select a particular dimension which should be in ideal case be your categorical variable so for us it will be the country name so for each country we want to show the total number of mobile phone user and the total number of landline users and to show the relationship between that we have to select a categorical variable over here on our x axis that's why we have selected country name in our dimension now if you want to add a drill down level for example if you want your user to go one step ahead with the country name if you want to show them this graph at a city level or at a region level you can add another dimension after selecting this drill down option once you select this drill down option then you can add another dimension for example i can select capital over here or let's select continent as our major dimension okay so we will have two continents in our data which is europe and asia and when your user want to get specifically into a particular continent then he can select country so let me go and click on view to show you how this drill down works so right now you can see over here that we have europe as a record count of 52 and asia as a record count of 52 right now if you want to drill down at a country level then you can select europe and then click over here to drill down it within europe you will have all the countries over here now if you want to go back then either you can click it over here to reset or what you can do is that you can click over here to drill up to the continent name similarly if you select asia and click over here then you will get drilled down at a country level within asia and if you want to drill up you can either click over here or you can click here so let's go back in edit mode the next option that we have over here is the matrices now as i said earlier that what i want to show over here in this combo chart is that i want to compare the landline users versus the mobile phone users right so the first thing the first matrix that i'm going to select is the mobile phone users so phone mobile so what it will do is that it will take the count of the mobile phone that is getting used in asia but this count will just give us the number of record for each continent so instead of count what i need to do is that i need to take the sum so that i can have the total number of people within asia or within each country which are using phones so the first matrix i have selected phone the second matrix i am going to select landline phone as landline and it will also be the sum now you can see over here that we have asia we have europe and both of these continents we can see the number of users for mobile and number of users for landline now if you want to add optional matrices then you can select this and you can add the optional matrices such as let's go and select uh, internet users similarly you can add multiple optional matrix over here the next option that we have is the sort if you want to sort your entire graph or chart based on 
a particular matrix then you need to select that matrix over here and once you have selected that then you can sort it either in ascending order or in descending order now the next option within this setup is filtration if you want to filter out your data then you can add a filter over here when you click on add a filter then you have an option to create a filter if you click on create a filter then you will come to this section where you have to give name of the filter and then what you can do is that either you can include or exclude a value from a particular field so suppose if i want to exclude india then what i can do is that i can select exclude here then select the field as country name is equal to and then i'll put india over here and if I save it over here, then you will see that your data will not have India within Asia. Okay. Now, let's remove this filtration so that I can show you graph with all the data. So, let's go to the style section of this graph. Now, the first option that appears within a style is series number one. As you can see over here in our setup section, the first matrix is sum of mobile phone user, right? So this series one is sum of mobile phone users. So now if you want to put it as a bar, you can select it, but we have to specifically distinguish between mobile phone users and the landline users. So let's keep it as a line chart. Now if you want to increase or decrease the line width, you can do it from here let's keep it at 4 okay and let's change the color to red so for our phone users we have used the red color line with a weight of 4 now if you want to show the cumulative value then you can select it over here but for this user case we cannot select the cumulative value because for each country we will have separate number of phone users now, if you want to show the data points, you can select this. For each data point, you will see a small circle over here. And if you want to show the data label, you can select this. And then you will see that we have the data label over here. But for this graph, we have a huge number of data set. So it's better not to select this data level. Now, if you want to change the axis, for example, if you want to change the axis for this graph at the left, you can select this. By default it's always left but if you want to change it to right you can select this and you will see that the right section of this graph will have numbers and your first series which is mobile phone series is plotted based on right axis now let's go to the second series which is our landline which is the bar so you can see over here that by default By default, Looker has selected bars or pubs and it has selected a color for us. If you want to change the color for this series 2, you can select any color from here. So let's select black. Okay. So you have the same features for series 2 also. If you want to change the color, if you want to show the cumulative value, you can select this. If you want to show the data levels, you can select this. If you want to change the axis from left to right you can change it from here now from this series 1 and series 2 we came to the general style option the first option is smooth if you select this then you will see that your line graph is a little bit smoother as compared to previous one when we have not selected it you can see the changes over here let's select or unselect this smooth you will see that it's just went up directly from here now if I select this smooth, you will see that there is a smooth curve from here. Now you can select the stack bar if you want your data or your graph as a stacked bar chart. But for us, we want one of our matrices to be shown in line chart and one of our matrices as the bar graph. So we will not select this stacked bar. Now the next option over here is the number of points. So this number of points usually show us the top 500 values. If you want to increase it, then you can increase it over here. 
So what happens is that by default data studio or looker will show you the top n number of values which is 500 by default and if you want another 500 or 10,000 values then you can increase the numbers here but after 500 as a default selection rest all of the values in your data will be categorized as all others now the next option that we have over here is reference line you can add a reference line from here then if you want to reverse your axis you can come under this axis section and reverse your axis if you uncheck this show axis button then all the axis value will be hidden but if you select this you will be able to see the x axis value and the y axis values now if you want to reverse your y axis direction you can select this one similarly if you want to reverse your x axis direction you can select this right now we have left y axis if you want to show the title you can select this one and you will see that the title of the y axis will appear over here similarly you have right y axis over here if you want to show the title or the legend you can select this one and then if you want to show the title axis for x axis you can select this one now moving ahead you have an option for grid color within the axis color if you want to change the axis color you can select it but let's keep default color similarly if you want to change the grid color you can change it from here or if you want to take out the grid completely then you have to select transparent right if you want to change the font family then you can change the font family from here of these fonts similarly if you want to change the axis font size you can change it from here now the second last option that we have is the legend if you want to change or update anything in the legend then you can change it from here under this style section if you want to change the legend font color you can change it from here similarly if you want to change the font size you can change it from here right and then we have an option of alignment the last option that we have is the background and border in the style section if you want to change the background and border of your combo charts you can select the background from here so let's select this okay and if you want to change the border radius you can change it from here this is the opacity if you want to change the opacity you can update the opacity of the background color from this option now the last option within this background and border is the border color if you want to change the border color you have to go over here and select a particular color and if you want the border weight to increase or decrease you can select it from here border weight let's take three and the last option that we have is the border style if you want to change the border style then you can select it from here let's keep dotted and then if you want to add the border shadow you can check this button so let's go and see our combo chart in view mode so we have this combo chart over here now if you want to see all the countries which is present in your data set what you can do is that you can simply click on this drill down button and google data studio or looker will show you a list of all of those countries and their values as a chart over here so this is how basically you can create and customize your combo charts in looker Happy learning and see you in the next video.